Hey, Psych2Goers. Do you struggle to build deeper connections with others? Are you looking for ways to connect with people beyond the surface level? Today's video is sponsored by SoSynced, a place that can match partners' personality types based on the 16 personalities model. You can access it by clicking the link below. Hey, Psych2Goers, welcome back to another video. Do you feel that your personality type is INFJ? The INFJ personality type stands for introversion, intuition, feeling, and judging. It's the rarest personality type and makes up only 1% of the total population. Because of this, INFJs usually feel like they're misunderstood by other personality types. Therefore, this video will be addressing six things only INFJs understand. Number one. INFJs always care. Do you find that you always care about those around you who need help? You will always care for people to the point where you're willing to risk your own well-being in the process because of INFJ's strong sense of personal integrity and drive to help others. As such, you will frequently find yourself in situations where you choose to help others while sacrificing or neglecting something that you want to do. This will make you someone that is extremely valued by others. However, people may take advantage of this personality trait and make you sacrifice yourself to satisfy their needs and wants. Number two, feeling lonely in a group. Do you feel lonelier when you're with other people than when you're by yourself? This may sound contradictory, but it's one of the things that only INFJs will understand. Of course, it's important to understand the difference between lonely and alone. INFJs are known to be extremely intuitive and comfortable when they're alone because they're constantly self-reflecting. However, the same intuitive ability is what can make you constantly feel misunderstood, especially if you yourself cannot explain how you know something. This feeling of being misunderstood all the time when you're with a group of people is what makes you feel lonely in a group. Number three, self-sabotage. Do you have the tendency to overthink things so much that you end up spoiling a happy moment? INFJs have the tendency to always dig deep past the surface level of things. This tendency can ruin happy moments for you, since you'll often think that for every good thing, there should be something bad. This train of thought will eventually lead you to put down your own success and accomplishments. And the worst thing is that even the simplest and most innocent thoughts can spiral out of control and become a huge obstacle in the way of your happiness. We talked about the importance of your potential partner being attentive and remembering the little things, which is why SoSynced could be the right app for you. They pair couples who have the right amount of similarities to get each other and just the right amount of differences to create that spark for deeper, meaningful dating. Upon taking the personality test, you discover your personality, such as INFJ, so thoughtful, or ENFP, so curious. Once you've mutually liked each other, you can start messaging. Here are what some people using the app have said. Lily, INFJ said, I didn't expect to find love so fast. Our personality types will be tattooed on me somewhere. And Indy, ENFJ said, matching people using personality types is such a simple and powerful concept. So synced helped us find love. Even in this difficult time, you've really changed our lives. In fact, we're now married. Thank you. Make sure you check out the app in the description box below for more details. We encourage you to try it out and give yourself a chance to find deeper love. Number four, easily getting emotionally drained by others. How often do other people's feelings or emotions affect you? Because of your keen intuition and inner senses, you will often be very quick to pick up on the emotions and feelings of others and end up adopting these emotions yourself. This personality trait makes you, as an INFJ, a very powerful counselor and advocate, since you can easily understand and empathize with what other people are thinking. At the same time though, this can be emotionally draining for you because of the huge amount of emotional stimulus you are processing, especially when you're hosting strong contrasting emotions. Number five, rarely opening up or feeling like you've revealed too much. How often do you express your feelings to other people? Well, due to the introvert trait that many INFJ types have, you tend to be very reserved when it comes to expressing your opinions and feelings. Additionally, you're used to being the one helping others out, so you try not to look vulnerable. 
Rather than opening up whenever you feel anger or frustration, you prefer to retreat from social contact and solve everything by yourself. However, once someone gets you to open up, you will suddenly feel like saying everything going on in your mind and end up apologizing because you think that you're burdening them with your problems. And number six, inner guilt. Do you constantly go over a situation where you think you could have said something different? This is most likely due to the inner guilt that you as an INFJ constantly feel. When you send a message to your friends, your mind automatically makes you think that you're somehow bothering them. Or when you do something that you wanted to do, you might start feeling guilty because it meant that you didn't do something others wanted you to do. Even a brief conversation can leave you wondering if what you said was right. Whatever the situation is, there is always something in your mind that makes you feel guilty. Did you relate to and understand these signs? If you are an INFJ, you might constantly feel lonely and misunderstood because there aren't many others that can relate to these thoughts and feelings. But remember that you aren't alone. There's likely someone out there that can relate to the same struggles. If you found this video helpful or saw yourself in these signs, please let us know in the comments below. Like and share it with friends that might find this valuable too. Remember to subscribe to Psych2Go and hit the notification bell for more content. All the references used are added in the description box below. Thanks so much for watching and we'll see you next time.